All right, so now we have generator. We got a connection here to the 12 volt battery. And uh, just to make sure, we can just take a measurement real quick just to see what the battery voltage is. We got 12 volts right there. There's 15 amp fuses right here. So we're just going to put these fuses right into the fuse socket. And uh, here it goes. So now you can see this generator is spinning. So right now, energy is going from the battery to the generator. So if we had a blocking diode, if we put a blocking diode right here, then we wouldn't have the problem of it spinning when we're not doing any pedaling. And this diode's rated for about four, four amps of current, which is good for a kid's bike. And an adult could pull about eight or nine or 10 amps, but for kids, you only need four amps. All right, so we're gonna put this diode in here. We're gonna break the connection to the positive. And we have the diode. We're gonna put the diode in here. And the other one right here. So now this diode is in series with the charger. So here's the diode. Notice now that the, that the, uh, the motor stopped turning. However, when we get enough voltage from the generator to cause the current to flow from the generator positive line up into the battery, this diode will let that voltage through, will let that current through in this direction, but not in that direction. So let's go ahead and try it out and see. Start pedaling. And yeah, so right now I can feel the battery charging. 